Matthew Butler, who was another one. Big face. Big face coffee. I feel like we've been practicing that all year long with, with guys in and out of the rotation and out of lineup. Um, it's always that next man up mentality. I think Gabe did a great job of that. Um, but more than anything, we we made shots. You know, you call it what it is. When we make shots, we tend to get stops. We ain't got to worry about getting back in transition as much. Um, and that was the game. Jimmy, PJ just told me he doesn't believe in momentum swings. Um, do you feel as though there is a way to carry a win like this into the next game, or is each game its own individual? Each game is different. Um, like I told the team back, like, we just did what we were supposed to do. I don't think winning at home was a surprise to anybody. Um, they did what they were supposed to do the past two games. Now we're supposed to go and, and, and win one on the road, do the hard job. I think we're capable of it if we uh, get some stops. And then, you know, if shots fall, shots fall. So what? But um, it's a hard place to play. Um, I've played there before, um, being in the Sixers jersey. I know how that crowd gets. Um, but we got to go in there. We, got, we, we need this. We do. Nothing. I do the same thing every night. Um, same thing every day. Kicking it with my boys, playing some spades, dominoes, too much coffee going on. Um, and then come out here and compete. I think it's a blessing to be able to play basketball every day. So. Um, we go out there and we have fun, and it's much more fun whenever we win. Jimmy could be a symbol of the three-point shooters that if they just make the shots, that's what everyone wants to see. Did, was there any conversations with Max from game to game about getting up more shots or what you saw from him tonight? Nah, you don't have to tell Max uh, to shoot the ball. He knows his job and his role on his team. Um, he knows he belongs on this team. You know that he belongs in the league. Um, you know, shooters are going to miss shots. Tonight he made them. He's going to take the same shots he took this game, next game, and he's going to make those as well. But more than anything, uh, he was the main reason for us getting stops, being in the gap, rebounding the basketball. He told me that, you know, that was his first double-double. So uh, it's good for him. Jimmy, you've obviously done it at various points in your career, but why do you think since you've been here, you've so consistently been able to raise your level when the group is needed at most? I mean, more than anything, my, my teammates, my coaches, this entire organization really believe in the player that I am, the player that I've become over the years. So they allow me to, to be me here. They allow me to just hoop and not say too much and, you know, good, bad, and different. Um, they rocking with me. And I think that's, that's the best feeling to have, especially right now in the playoffs. And uh, I think that's the reason Coach Pat brought me here, and we are where we are. so open before the series about wanting to play against Joel, wanting to beat the best. How often do you get a chance to talk to him? Man, I talk to Joel every day, even before um, this series. That's my guy. That's, that's a brother to me. Um, we know that. And uh, it's, a, it's a privilege to, to play against him, you know, obviously to be on the same team with him as well as I was in the past. But damn, you want to be able to, to play against the best and have an opportunity to beat the best and hold that over one another's head for years to come. But, I mean, after basketball, that's still going to be my guy. Jimmy, Tyler always gets a lot of attention anyway, but he's seen a lot of doubles and blitzes in this uh, series. Do you notice when you're on the floor with him that your lane's open at all when he's on the floor? And just how much does it change when he's getting that type of pressure? Uh, I, mean, I think he's doing a, a great job of accepting the blitz and making the right play out of it. It's tough getting blitzed all the time, but I look at it as a compliment. Like, you're a really good player if they're sending two people at you. Um, they've yet to do it to me, so I'm obviously not that good of a player, but I'll take it. Keep doubling, Tyler. All right, Jimmy, thank you. Peace.